there are a couple of other key pieces to successfully panel printing with the latex printer, specifically on the latex 300 series. The first is I want to show you what the cantilevers or counterweights look like and how they work. This is a counterweight. If you do not have one of these on the back side of your dancer bar, the dancer bar down in the bottom, this is your dancer bar. If you do not have these attached on the back of it, either they're in the box and they came with it. If it were a, three, a, one, a, three, a 315, a 335, or a 365, if you have a 310, 330, or 360, these may not have been released when the printer was released. In that case, please call H, the HP 1-800-SUPPORT line and tell them that you are panel printing and you need a set of these. The way these work is simple. They go on the end of the dancer bar and then the farther the weight is out, it's a counterweight to the dancer bar. The dancer bar puts a little bit of tension on the media to go forward. What you want when you're panel printing is the very lightest amount of tension possible on that dancer bar. So the ends here screw and then you, re you release it all the way to the end. If, for example, you were then going to print fabric, you want to slide this back down this way because the fabric needs to have more tension and it can't print effectively with no tension on the front. This is adjustable in and out. If you want to put it midway, make sure you measure with a ruler how far in you're coming because both of these have to be set exactly the same distance. If they're not set to the same distance, then one side's going to have more counterweight on it than the other side, which is undesirable. You want these to be the same. And the way it adjusts is you actually adjust the... Um, uh, the little nut on the end and then slide this forward and back. So I would probably get a measuring tape and then put a little white mark with like let's say some kind of white uh, marker or a little crayon or something that gives you a point of reference. For me, I run these all the way back. I just keep them all the way back because I'm putting as little tension as possible. You may run into certain medias however like I ran a product by a uh, Aurora called uh, Sticky Stuff, and it was very thick, and I definitely needed to have this up in a little bit, because putting them all the way back put so little tension that it did work, but it was pretty close to having some issues, because the material would have benefited, because of the thickness and the liner, from having just a little more on the counterweight or a little less on the counterweight so that you have a little more on the dancer bar. These are key to panel printing on a 300 series. I definitely recommend ordering them. If you do not have them and you're doing panel jobs, I think that's a mistake. We built these to make the dancer bar lighter so you could have more effective accuracy on panel jobs, and that's what they're for. I wanted to show those to you and explain it because that's a piece of the puzzle and some people aren't aware of them, and I think it's important that you know that they exist and what they're for. The next piece of the puzzle is the take-up. Um, I didn't mention this in a previous video, and I think it's important. The take-up can either be outside wound, or you can do an inside wind. What you see here is me lining it up to do a print on the inside, and then you would adjust um, your take up either going number two or number one depending if you're going outside or inside print. If you go inside print it does put a little less tension on it than if you're going outside print. I usually judge it by the media. Some medias like this adhesive vinyl would work just fine if I wound it on the inside. It would work great, no issue. Roll it in a little bit, put the tape on, put it up, good. And then I would slide the dancer bar in. However, some medias, because of the way the media is wound or the memory of the media, they really need to follow the way the media behaves more than trying to fight against the media. Certain heavy papers may have trouble with an inside wind. 
certain polyester films may be a little trouble. Um, it really is just going to have to be based on a case-by-case -case basis. So the material I mentioned earlier, the Aurora sticky stuff, that would be kind of tough to do an inside wind because it's a, um, it's a wall covering that's thick, like a canvas texture, on the back of a liner. And then as you go inside, it would probably start to pull or deform away from the liner. It could cause trouble in the way it winds up. So that material, I would tend to go outside of the roll. Just to let you know that it is an option. You can go either way, and on panel printing, printing it from the inside wind is going to put a little less tension on it than from the outside wind, and that is a viable option if you want uh, to print panel panels that way. It's the last variable, I think, that I left out in all of the steps that I made in a previous video, so I wanted to make this video to explain you have an inside and outside wind option, and I wanted to point out that these are the cantilevers or counterweights. This is what they look for. This may be in the box in your printer someplace and you didn't know what they were for. There's instructions in there on how to install them. Uh, if the instructions have been lost, reach out to HP. I'm sure we have some very basic directions on how to put these together. Um, and then also, if you have an older latex printer, these are available to you if it's a 300 series or better, that you can order these and have these attached to the count to the uh, end of the dancer bar and it would put a little less pressure on them. Keep in mind, the adjustment happens through the threading. So if you wanna make sure they're exactly the same distance on both of them. And then when you have certain materials that need more tension like fabric, you're gonna to have to remember to slide these back down again. Otherwise, you're gonna to have too little weight on the tension from the dancer bar and fabric will not travel very well.